What's going on everyone? Today we've got 10th Gen Comet Lake pricing and a little bit of details on the non-super refreshed RTX laptop graphics cards. New to PC building or just trying to stay within a budget and get the most you can? Give our PC builder tool a spin and let us help you get the most for your money. So the prices of Intel's 10th Gen Comet Lake Core Desktop CPUs have finally started to appear on retail channels. The Canadian retailer Direct Dial has listed down three variants which include a single 10 core and two 8 core models which feature similar price points compared to their 9th generation predecessor but do offer better specifications. Now the three 10th Gen desktop CPUs were spotted by Momomo underscore US over on Twitter listed at the Canadian based tech retailer. It looks like that while these CPUs have been listed early along with preliminary pre-order pricing they won't be available at the same retailer until middle of June which is around two months wait from now. Now we have a 10 core Core i9-10900 and the 8 cores, the Core i7-10700K and the 10700. The Intel Core i9-10900K has been listed for a price of 679 Canadian dollars, which equals around 487 US dollars. Now the Core i7-10700K has been listed for 585 Canadian, Canadian dollars or 419 US, while the i7-10700 has been listed for 506 Canadian or roughly $363 US. Now there are two important things to consider here. First of all, these are early pre-order listings, which means that the final pricing could be lower, could be higher. Secondly, the retailer hasn't listed if VAT is included in the pricing or not, so that may affect prices here. Now onto the non-Super RTX laptop refresh, as Nvidia has recently released its refresh GeForce RTX Super GPUs for laptops based on the Turing architecture. Now while Nvidia refreshed their top tier lineup, the existing ones also received an update which, although not as major as the Super variants, does give them enough of a boost to more than tackle AMD's Radeon RX 5700M and RX 5600M GPUs which have yet to be seen in action on high-end notebooks. There were some key changes introduced by NVIDIA in its GeForce RTX Super GPUs which include the usage of low voltage GDDDR6 VRAM and next generation regulators for increased efficiency. Now XMG's official representative have now revealed over at Computer Basis forums that the GeForce RTX 2070 and RTX 2060 notebook GPUs have been refreshed and they well they're also getting the same technologies allowing for better performance and margins like their predecessors looking at the changes now now, the GeForce RTX 2070 refresh features the same CUDA core count of 2304 CUDA cores and 8GB of GDDR6, while the RTX 2060 refresh also features 1920 CUDA cores, same as the original RTX 2060. The GeForce RTX 2070 refresh has a TGP of 115 watts, while the GeForce RTX 2060 refresh gets a slight TDP jump to 115, previously at 90 watts on the non-refresh. In terms of clock speeds, both cards receive a boost with the GeForce RTX 2070 refresh going from 1440 MHz to 1485 MHz, while the RTX 2060 refresh goes from 1200 to 1285. Now the credit for this increase in clock speeds and vice versa the performance goes primarily to the new embedded low voltage GDDR6 memory dies. These low voltage memory chips operate at 1.25 volts instead of the standard 1.35 volts. This allows the GPU to receive more power to deliver better performance than their non-refresh parts. There's also next generation regulators that are designed for efficiency on board the two GPUs and according to Nvidia about 15% of the typical 80 to 115 watts reserved for the GPU on the GeForce powered laptops get lost to due to the regulators. Whereas these next generation regulators are more efficient and therefore save precious power for the GPU. And a literal bid to avoid wasting watts which is at the core of doubling the efficiency for the new Max-Q laptops. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.